An alkanol and a carboxylic acid will combine with one another in the presence of heat and an acid catalyst to form an organic compound called an ester in what is known as a condensation reaction, since a molecule of water is released in the process. For example, when ethanol and butanoic acid are heated in sulfuric acid, they react to form the ester ethyl butanoate. The first part of the name of the ester derives from the name of the alkanol by replacing the anol ending with il and the second part from the name of the carboxylic acid by replacing the oic acid ending with oate. So ethanol becomes ethyl and butanoic acid becomes butanoate. Ethyl butanoate is an odiferous compound with a pineapple or orange smell and flavour which is used in the food industry. It is one of a range of esters with relatively low molecular masses that are volatile compounds with distinctive fruity smells. For example, pentyl ethanoate has a banana smell, pentyl pentanoate an apple smell, octyl ethanoate an orange smell, propyl ethanoate a pear smell, and pentyl propanoate, an apricot smell. Esters with much higher molecular masses do not evaporate so easily or have fruity smells, but they are equally useful compounds. For example, long-chain carboxylic acids combine with glycerol in a condensation reaction to form triglycerides, commonly known as lipids or fat, which is an important way the body has of storing excess energy. Industrially, diols and diacids are combined in condensation reactions to form polyesters. For example, ethylene glycol reacts with terephthalic acid to form the polyester polyethylene terephthalate, commonly abbreviated to PET, a thermoplastic polymer used to make a variety of products. About 60% of the PET produced is used to make synthetic fibres and another 30% plastic bottles.